Upcoming read-alongs and things. Those people chose violence. It's plenty of time to catch up. I mean, you, you never can be sure, but I feel decently confident. I don't understand the appeal. Twenty twenty three is basically upon us, very, very nearly. <laughs> so um, I think last year I tried to do my plans and things for twenty twenty two video a little earlier. <laughs> um, so I'm quite late on this. Sorry for the last minute notice. I've been meaning to do this video for a little while now. There are plans that I added to this list like today. So I mean, who knows? Maybe by tomorrow I'll have even more plans. But anyway, so um, mainly this is going to be a list of like read-alongs and things. Um, and then also at the end, I figure that's what you're most interested in. So I'm doing that first. And then at the end, I'll also just mention some like personal kind of like um, plans and goals that I vaguely want to have for the upcoming year. Um, not much of a one for New Year's resolutions, but like it's a good as good a time as any to kind of like assess what you're doing and being like, hmm, do I want to keep doing this? Uh, so anyway, a little bit of that at the end of the video. So I have um 11 <laughs> read along buddy read type of things to tell you about, <laughs> which is overwhelming and hilarious because one of the, my reading goals towards the end of the video is about reading less. So, you know, <laughs> upcoming read alongs and things. Um, I'm, I've listed them on my little cheat sheet um, in in order of appearance. So like um, a lot of some of them span the entire year. But like, uh, if they start in January, then I'm talking about them first. And then if something starts in February, then I talk about that next and so on and so forth. So anyway, first things first, The Witcher read along on chapter three podcast. If you're not aware by now, uh, I co host the fantasy side of things. Um, on Bethany's podcast, Chapter 3 podcast. Um, she also talks about romance and stuff with Izzy. I am virtually never a part of those conversations for obvious reasons, but we do uh, do the fantasy episodes together. Last year, we did a year long read along of First Law. This year, we're doing a year long read along. Well, it's not gonna be quite the whole year, but most of the year to read the Witcher books. Just like with First Law, this will be a reread for me and first time for Bethany. <laughs> and uh, we tested out doing a live show for Wisdom of Crowns and that went, went went quite well. So I believe the plan is to do live shows for all of the Witcher books on the last Tuesday of every month as much as possible. Um, if that schedule needs to change for some reason, we'll obviously let you know. But that's the plan, the last Tuesday of every month to do a live show on the Witcher books. And we've been doing um, bonus content for patrons, usually just kind of like about whatever, but we want to be more intentional about bonus content with Witcher. So all the bonus content, at least on the fantasy side of things, um, will in some way be related to either directly the Witcher book that we've just read or the world of the Witcher or, or something Witcher related um, we'll talk about in the bonus content. Um, so check that out. But so the reading order we're going to do for the Witcher books, it's going to be January, we read The Last Wish. February, we read Sword of Destiny. Then in March, we take a bit of a break. I don't know what we're going to talk about in March. <laughs> then in April, we start the main proper series and read it straight through. So it'll be April is Blood of Elves. May is Time of Contempt. June is Baptism of Fire. July is Tower of Swallows. And August is Lady of the Lake. Then in September, we take another quick break. Again, don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> and then October, we're going to read Season of Storms, which is the only book that I have not read. So that will be new for us both. So uh, if you've read them or not read them, or I've always wanted to read them or read some of them, but not all of them, you know, consider joining us and joining in with the live shows. It's so great to be able to talk to people. Me and Bethany love talking to each other. That's why we're doing all these read-alongs together. But it's nice to have some new voices and questions to the conversation and add some more uh, fodder for discussion. So definitely, definitely join us if you've read them before or if you'd like to join us in reading them now. Uh, next up is something that I'm just doing by myself, um, unless, you know, people would like to come and join me. I say by myself, I mean, I'm going to be posting content about it. Um, but a year of gaming. I posted a poll asking if people would be interested and basically the consensus is yes. Uh, there were some people that voted not interested in gaming at all. And, um, those people chose violence. So um, I also asked if people would want to see videos or live shows. It seems like videos was more the interest uh, than live shows, but I'm open to having my mind changed about that. What is not changing is the books that I'm reading and the order that I'm reading them in. And again, I invite you to join me. I'll let me know again um, if there's other people that would like to join me in this, other content creators, if people would like live shows. Instead of in addition to uh, videos, right now what I plan to do is to read these books and post videos about it each month. These are um, almost 100% rereads. Yeah, there's only one book that's not a reread. Because <laughs> I 
I've read basically every Gaiman that there is. So anyway, um, it's just a year of Gaiman just because I want to do it because I love Gaiman. He doesn't have any new books coming out, so I don't have much of a reason to chat about him on my channel, so I'm just creating a reason. And I, I was trying to figure out what order I should do this in, and I thought, since most of them are standalone, so there's no like natural series reading order, I decided I'd read them in publication order. Just because it's a good as order, it's a good of order, it's as good an order as any, <laughs> but I also thought it might be kind of interesting to see if his writing, like if I am able to observe his writing like change over time by reading it in publication order. So the reading order for Gaiman will be January, Neverwhere, February, Stardust, March, Smoke and Mirrors, April, American Gods, May, Coraline, June, Anansi Boys, July, Fragile Things, August, Graveyard Book, September, Ocean at the End of the Lane, October, Trigger Warning, November, The View from the Cheap Seats, and December, Norse Mythology. The only one of those that I've never read before is Fragile Things. So I'm quite excited too. <laughs> I think at that point I will actually have read everything. There might be some children's books that I have not read. I think, for, yeah, I think there definitely are. But anyway, all of his novels I will have read. <laughs> so anyway, that's Gaiman. Uh, next up I have three... Yes, I have three things going on on my Patreon that are read-alongs. So first is Book of the New Sun, me and a bunch of my patrons. Um, I haven't really promised or talked to them about whether or not they want to do some kind of live chats about them because we do have a monthly buddy read for which we do a live chat. So doing another live chat for this read-along, I don't know if we want to do that. <laughs> Maybe we will. We'll see. If people want to, then I'm definitely down to. Um, but we haven't like definitely decided to do that. But we are on the Discord definitely going to be reading um, in January, uh, Shadow of the Torchwer, in February, Claw of the Conciliator, in March, Sword of the Lictor, in uh, April, uh, Citadel of the Autark, and in May, Earth of the New Sun. I have read the first three already, um, but I didn't manage to read the fourth one, and I've realized that if I want to read the fourth one, I do need to read the first three over again. And I think it'd be good to anyway. And then yeah, I've never uh, touched obviously Earth of the New Sun because I didn't read the fourth one yet either. <laughs> so I'm super excited to actually finish that series and uh, do a video on the whole series. Probably one of those like, should you read it type videos, which I've decided I like to do when I finish series. <laughs> Just started doing it. <laughs> yeah, I'm super excited for that. And then also my Patreon, um, they voted on our next buddy read and our next buddy read is going to be a read along. That's what they voted on. So we're going to be uh, reading The Warlord Chronicles by Bernard Cornwall. This is my first Bernard Cornwall. I have heard amazing things. I've also heard that this is his best, which is um, like that's exciting, but also like maybe not the greatest idea to start there if it's all downhill from there. But I have heard that just generally his books are very, very good. Um, so, I mean, I don't really think that reading this will ruin me for his other books, which we'll see. So the uh, Warlord Chronicles are three books. These are Arthurian books. So in January, we'll be reading The Winter King. In February, we'll be reading uh, Enemy of God. And in March, we'll be reading Excalibur. There will be live shows for this because our buddy reads for the Patreon always have live shows uh, that are like for patrons only. <laughs> and then um, the runner up to Warlord Chronicles and the vote was like really, really close. So the official winner of the buddy read that has live shows associated with it is the Warlord Chronicles. But the, like I said, the runner up with, with very, which was very, very close was His Dark Materials, which is uh, a book that I have read His Dark Materials before. Um, but I just read The Book of Dust and we that almost won. So I asked my patrons, I was like, okay, I know I didn't win, but do people want to read His Dark Materials January, February, March? Like, would we, would people be down? And they basically, a lot of people said yes. So uh, we're doing that too. Um, I think because we're doing it too, and because it was the runner up, I'll see if people want to chat about both in our monthly live shows for our buddy reads. Um, but we're definitely reading them together and chatting about them in the discord. So obviously the schedule for that would be January. We would read the Northern Lights slash Golden Compass, depending on which country and which edition you have. Then in February, the Subtle Knife and in uh, March, the Amber Spyglass. Uh, next, um, quickly the Northern Sky, the Under the Northern Sky series, um, which we, I've been hosting a read along for uh, with Alex and Alan and kind of Jimmy. <laughs> uh, we're wrapping it up with the Cuckoo in January. So uh, there's still time. It's only a trilogy. So there's still time to catch up. We will probably talk about the Cuckoo towards the end of January or the beginning of February. That's plenty of time to catch up if you have not read The Wolf and the Spider yet. So get on it. The books are amazing. And I don't think I have posted it yet as of the this video going up, but um, I did interview Leo Carew and I'm very excited to share that interview with you guys. And hopefully uh, if you're not already hyped and you're not already reading these books, 
uh, seeing that interview might spark your interest. So look out for that very soon. And another continuation, um, Alex uh, from Alex Nieves uh, and I have been reading the Sun Eater books together for a while now. And uh, since we caught up on the series, we've just kind of like checked in every time there's a new one. So Ashes of a Man just came out in December. So we're going to read it in uh, January and do another live chat to chat about it. And then because we also uh, recently got Queen Amid Ashes or Queen Amid the Ashes. The, it's another bind up of short stories in the world of the Sun Eater. We're gonna talk about that as well. Like last time we talked about Kingdoms of Death and also the Lesser Devil. Well, I read the Lesser Devil. Alex didn't. <laughs> Alex is always uh, late on his homework. But um, we're for sure talking about Ashes of Man and um, in theory also Queen Amid Ashes <laughs> in, uh, in January or again like ideally January or at least reading it in January and then chatting about it either end of January or beginning of February. If you haven't caught up with Sun Eater yet, I don't know that that's enough time to catch up. Uh, that's a lot of books and a lot of reading to do. But if you would like to try to catch up with us, you can chat about it with us, then you're you're more than welcome. Then another continuation, A Realm of the Elderlings, which I've been going through with Mar from Books Like Whoa. Well. Uh, we wrapped up the Rainwall Chronicles in December and uh, we decided once we did that, then in January we could do a live show to chat about. We've kind of been doing live shows as we finish each um, kind of series within the realm of the elderlings. So we're going to do a chat about Rainwild Chronicles in January. And then starting in February, we're not skipping months, we're just getting it done. February, March, and April, we're reading uh, the Fits and the Fool series, the last series in the realm of the elderlings. So after that, we'll probably do a final chat about that, that trilogy slash like overall the realm of the elderlings. And um, Wait, I won't say it yet. It's later on my list, but there's a part two of uh, reading with Mara. But next, uh, Red Rising. A new book is finally coming out and it's not the last one. It was supposed to be the last one, but it's it's not going to be the last one. <laughs> the new book, Lightbringer, comes out this summer in July. And um, myself and Angela from Literature Science Alliance are going to do a read along for the Red Rising books in the anticipation of that release. So we're going to start in February um, so that our reading kind of coincides with the release of the last book. So February we re read Red Rising and then continue reading the series um, until July when the new one comes out and then read that as well. But more, moreover, not only is this a read along, this one might be the most exciting. Maybe I should have opened with it. My friend who runs the shop Creatively Crafts, um, my discount code for her shop is always in the description of my videos and a lot of her mugs are on the bookshelves behind me in videos. Um, she is a huge fan of Red Rising. If you've ever checked out her shop, like legitimately half of what she sells is Red Rising related. <laughs> she's obviously super pumped about uh, the new Red Rising book. And so she's going to be working with us um, to put together some giveaways to go along with the read along. We have not completely squared away details of what the giveaway will be and how many there will be. Uh, we, want, we would like to do more than one giveaway. Um, I don't know if it will be actually monthly, um, possibly, <laughs> like possibly smaller giveaways monthly and then bigger ones like at the end of each trilogy or something like that. Um, but certainly some exclusive items that would be only for the giveaway, uh, mug, pin, things like that. Um, so stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, do check out her shop. Then uh, next, <laughs> I have Five Warrior Angels by Brian Lee Durfee. Erin from Booked and Busy very kindly invited me to read these books with her and chat about them on her channel. Uh, so we will, the, I believe the trilogy, the conclusion of the trilogy did just come out at the end of 2023. So in November or December. So it's, it's completed. So we're going to read the whole thing uh, in January, February, March. We're going to read The Forgetting Moon in January, then The Blackest Heart in February, and The Lonesome Crown in March. I've heard amazing things about this series and it very much intrigues me what I've heard about it. They are pretty thick books. So I really hope I like them because they are long books to be hating if I am debating them. I feel, I mean, you, you never can be sure but I feel decently confident that I will like these books. At the very least, I think there will be a lot to talk about them. Uh, a lot in them to talk about is, yeah, okay. Anyway, so I'm very excited for reading those with Erin. Uh, so check, uh, I, she did a, an announcement video for several read-alongs kind of like this one. Um, so I'll leave that linked down below um, as well. And last is part two of reading with Mara. So when we finish Throne with the Elderlings, we've broken her down. <laughs> She's gonna read First Law. <laughs> Uh, we've, we've gotten her to agree to reading the original trilogy um, and then we'll see how we go. Hopefully she's in love and wants to keep going. I'm, I have not tortured that promise out of her yet, but uh, we're gonna do live shows, plural ideally, um, possibly just one when we finish the trilogy. We have not like confirmed, but I am, can confirm when we finish Realm of the Elderlings starting in May. She and I are gonna reread The Blade itself. It's obviously a reread for me, but it's a reread for her as well. And then June, July, Before They Are Hanged and Last Argument of Kings. Uh, and I'm 
Obviously very excited to have a reason to be reading First Law again. And I'm excited to be chatting with Mara about it and with all of you for however many live shows we end up doing for it. And those are all the read along type things that I have to tell you about. Then just some plans for myself or some goals for myself. Um, I do want to do some more vlog projects. Um, they kind of are a lot of work, but I have a lot of fun doing them. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I did four vlog, vlog projects. Um, in 2022. Um, so I did books that were inspired by music. I did uh, looking for another secret history or looking for dark academia. Uh, and then I did a two-parter of classics, rereading old favorite classics to see if they're still my favorites, and reading classics I've never read before to try and find a new favorite classic. So those are the four vlog projects that I ended up getting done in 2022. On my list in my notes app of like potential vlog project ideas, I still have a couple that I didn't get to do in, in 2022. So I would like to do them in 2023. And I've also since then thought of some more <laughs> vlog projects that I would like to do. Um, so I want to give myself space for doing it because it does take up time to read those books. Um, and if my TBRs are bursting, then I don't have as much room on them to do vlog projects, which are secret. So anyway, um, I definitely like doing them. I definitely do want to do more of them and have more space for them. I also want to have more time for writing. Um, I've started offering writing updates as one of my Patreon perks. And that's been honestly really great for me <laughs> because I always uh, in the past have kind of um, not prioritized writing because there is no accountability mechanism for it. There's no one waiting for me to submit something. There's no one waiting for me to upload something. I'm not accountable to anyone but myself. And so everything else always gets bumped ahead of it. Um, Cause reading, I post videos about it. Um, my job that I get paid for, obviously like my boss wants to make sure I'm doing my job. And I just, yeah, I just don't, writing is always the last priority. So now because I have been offering writing updates um, that has motivated me to actually uh, prioritize it more, which is fantastic. I've actually made such amazing progress and it's making progress is motivational. <laughs> so it's like a happy cycle, not a vicious one of um, once you've got the motivation or like a reason to like start the ball rolling, then it just rolls easier and faster. Does that make sense? So I'm very, very excited to make more progress on writing and to make time for that, but also to um, read stuff. I, I mentioned this, I think it was one of my goals for 2022 and that didn't happen. I want to take the time to actually like, I have collected so many books and um, and films and, and videos and things that I want to watch, consume, read, study um, that would just help me with fleshing out some things in my world and help me with, um, it's fantasy obviously that I'm writing, but helping with accuracy and things like that in the parts that are more inspired by real things. Um, so I really, again, want to make space for that in my schedule to to do that and to prioritize that. Um, and uh, this was one of my goals last year is to read less. And then I read like over 200 books in 2022. So again, going with all, I keep saying, I want to make space. I want to make room. I want to have time. Um, so I want to have less reading um, so that I have more time for reading. That makes no sense. But you know what I mean? Like uh, less books on my TBR, less, less things crowding my time, less just like getting through books. So I can really take my time with the books that I am reading and savor them um, so that I have time to read books that are like research for my own writing and time for writing that's not reading at all. So yeah, I mean, I would actually like to read less, like for realsies this time. Uh, I did prioritize, I don't know if this was one of my goals. I don't, I don't remember. I could check, but I didn't um, to read what I own. I think that's always everyone's goal. And I actually did a pretty good job with that in 2022. Um, I don't like posting book hauls. That's the main reason I haven't done it. It's not that I haven't bought books. I've definitely bought books, but I just, I don't like doing book hauls. I'm sorry. I know people like watching them. I know it's easy content to do. Now it's popular content to do. I hate filming book hauls. I don't like watching them either. I don't understand the appeal, frankly. <laughs> so I just don't do them, but I was pretty good in 2022 about only buying books that I needed to buy for like from my vlog project or for read-alongs or for, you know, buddy reads with my um, patrons, things like that, or for reads that my patrons assigned me to read because they get to make me read a book every month. <laughs> Usually it's a book that I don't own, so I have to go and buy it. So really, I the only things I was buying in 2022 for the most part were books that I was gonna read right away or like limited special fancy editions, you know, things like that, that you know, you got to get it now or never. So that's mostly what I was buying. I was trying my the buddy reads that I put on the poll for my patrons um, are like 99.9% .9 just books I own. <laughs> I'm like, Pick something I own, guys, let's read it together. <laughs> so I want to continue that and be even more diligent about it about reading the books that I own. 
um, and not putting things on my TBR unless I already own it. Unless, again, it's like a read along or something where my patrons are making me read it. <laughs> and then I also want to prioritize I'm finishing some series and starting some series. This is again every reader's goal. So in general I just want to do that. Um, some that are like kind of top priorities for finishing series. Uh, Greenbone Saga. I really thought I would finish it in 2022. Time got away from me. I still have time. Technically I could finish it between filming this video and finishing the year, but I don't think that's gonna happen. So I just need to read Jade Legacy. I'm really excited to read it. I haven't yet. Realm of the Elderlings, this is taken care of by reading it with Mara, but it, I mean, I do want to finish The Realm of the Elderlings. Skyward, I read the first book in 2021. Um, I did hear kind of negative things about the later books, but I own the next two, so I'd kind of like to catch up at least. Uh, the Inheritance Trilogy, which is, I read the first one again in 2021, I think, by N.K. Jemisin. So I might, I don't think, I think it's pretty vividly still in my mind. I don't think I would need to reread it to read on. But anyway, there's two more books that I haven't read that I would like to read. The Inheritance Games, I read the first one in this last fall, and I thought that I would binge the rest, but I just haven't. I just haven't. There's not really a legitimate reason. I just haven't, um, but I would like to. Um, it was just a lot of fun reading the first one. Um, they're not like amazing, brilliant literature, but I had a, a good time and I'd like to finish it. Then The War for the Rose Throne. I read Priest of Bones like when it came out <laughs> and then I never continued the series. So base, this maybe should go in starting series because I would need to restart it at this point. I, I put it on finishing series because I did read Priest of Bones and I really liked it. I just need to read the rest. <laughs> and then Hyperion, um, I again, I thought I would, I semi agreed to finish that series in 2022 and then that didn't happen. Uh, I read Hyperion and Fall of Hyperion. Um, I would like to read the, it's I, think, I believe a quartet. So I would like to read the last two books, um, finish that out. I really enjoyed Hyperion. I enjoyed Fall of Hyperion less, but I still was quite impressed. And then series that I'd like to start, hopefully I like Bernard Cornwell because I'm already reading Warlord Chronicles and one of my top priorities to start is the Saxon stories, I think is what the Last Kingdom series is called. I think that it's actually called the Saxon stories. I could be wrong about that. I'd like to read The Expanse. I've always wanted to read The Expanse. I meant to read it before watching the show, but I have seen a couple episodes of the show and I haven't like continued with it. Um, everyone's always talking about those books. They always look like such fun, but also like a massive commitment. But I would also like to read more sci-fi. I don't really read much sci-fi. So I would like to read The Expanse, or start it anyway. I would like to start and finish The Last Hours because I keep collecting those books. And I haven't read a single one of them. So uh, I have like beautiful special editions of them. So I would like to confirm if I like these books and then if I don't, well then I can sell them. <laughs> I would like to read Echoes of the Fall, which is The Tiger and the Wolf um, by Adrian Tchaikovsky. I have all those books haven't read them. I got them because they're beautiful. I love those covers. I hope I like them. I liked Guns of the Dawn, so hopefully I like them. And uh, again, N.K. Jemisin, um, Dreamblood duology. Um, I intended that to be my next N.K. Jemisin after finishing Broken Earth, uh, but then my patrons picked the first Inheritance book, um, so that's what I read in 2021, and now I haven't finished Inheritance or started Dreamblood. I would like to do both in 2023. Finish Inheritance and start and finish Dreamblood. So yeah, that's what's happening with me in 2023. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you'll be joining me for any of these endeavors, if you're excited about them, if you could care less about them, if you think my plans and goals suck, whatever you want to let me know. I post videos on Saturdays, other random times will open Saturdays, so like and subscribe, join my Patreon if you feel so inclined, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye.